going on guys? Welcome back to the Plague and Outdoorsman channel. I uh, got another cooking demo, a uh, wild game recipe here for you guys. I haven't done one of these in quite some time, so I figured with that deer I shot yesterday, I'm going to uh, have some fresh venison tonight. So we got a uh, <clears throat> video coming your way right here. So I'm going to be making venison fajitas today, and I'm going to go ahead and show you my ingredients here first. So I've got two sweet onions. Um, I probably would have only gotten one, but these ones are real small. I didn't have any bigger ones. So I just got two of them. And I got a red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and then some chili beans uh, with spicy sauce and whole kernel sweet corn, and then my deer meat. So I'm going to go ahead and chop up these onions and uh, peppers and get them thrown in the pan and cooking up and I will see you when we're at that point. Okay, so I just threw in uh, my second bell pepper so I'm going to go ahead and get some salt on here and uh, mix it up a little bit and cover them. I'm cooking these on like a medium low heat. You don't want them to get uh, burnt or anything. You just want them to get start getting soft. So I'm put like I always do a good amount of salt on these so I'll really draw out the moisture. And I'm gonna go ahead and just mix that around here. I'm gonna go ahead um, once I'm done mixing this up here quick, I'm going to cover these and let them sit. Um, checking on them every few minutes, uh, probably like every five minutes, until uh, until they get soft, which shouldn't be too long. Um, and then at that point, I'm gonna throw in my deer meat. I'm going to cut uh, into smaller chunks right now. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and then I will throw that in and then I'll season it up. I'll show you my seasonings I'm going to use because I was actually just at the store like a couple hours ago and completely forgot to buy a fajita seasoning. So um, that's not ideal, but I I can make it work with the spices that I have. It'll be, it'll be, uh, all fine dandy. So <clears throat> I'm going to let these cook for a while and uh, I'm going to cut up my venison into smaller chunks and throw them in uh, once these onions and peppers get soft. Alright so our uh, veggies are looking pretty good so I'm going to go ahead and grab my venison and throw it in. I will show you really quick. I cubed it up a little bit here. This is just uh, tenderloins, so obviously you don't have a whole ton of meat here. Um, you can really you can use whatever cut of meat you want. Uh, obviously, it's not going to make really make a difference. Um, if you get more meat. <laughs> Usually, I would have more meat uh, in this, but I'm working with what I got right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this in there and, uh, and set you guys here and I'll be back in one second okay so now I'm going to go ahead and grab my seasonings I'm going to use chili powder ground red pepper, ground paprika, uh, a little bit of garlic powder, and then just regular old salt and pepper. I'll add a little bit of, of that um, to it. So I'm going to go ahead and season it up right now. I'll kind of show you guys as I'm putting it in. So I'll start off with the chili powder 
And this is going to be what I probably put the most of in here. I'm going to put a good amount of this in here. And you can adjust these amounts however you want, obviously. This is just what I like. Um, you can adjust them however you want, more or less. Uh, it's really just personal preference. So that was the uh, chili powder, and that's the paprika, just a little bit of that. And a little bit of garlic powder. Uh, a little bit more. You can never have too much garlic. And then black pepper. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of salt here. Not too much since we already put salt on it before. I'm going to go ahead and stir this all up. Smelling pretty good. Like fajitas should. <laughs> For that one. Uh, my fajita season, I think these are going to turn out pretty good. So, yeah, these are looking really good now. So, this is what we've got now. <clears throat> looking pretty good to me. Um, and another thing, I cut my, uh, peppers and onions into like you know pretty big slices you can cut them you know however you want uh, into like little chunks or whatever but <clears throat> I like having those big big chunks in my fajitas so that's what I did uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and let this meat cook for a while uh, probably I don't know not really sure how long it's gonna be but I'll check on it in a little while, <clears throat> probably like, I don't know, five minutes, I'll check on it, see what's looking, uh, if it's not looking good yet, I'll let it go another five minutes, um, and then I'm going to throw in my beans and corn, which is optional, you don't have to do that, um, I've actually never made these with beans before, so this could be kind of interesting, just thought it would add a good flavor, <clears throat> um, and you can make this also with rice on the side, or whatever you prefer. Um, so I'm just going to let this cook for now and I will throw my beans and corn in in a while and that's uh, going to finish it up. Alright, <clears throat> so it's been five minutes like I said and everything is done now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a bowl here and fill it up and I have already tasted it. It is really good. So, you guys should probably try this out. Um, it is really good, like I said. Uh, I would highly recommend it. <clears throat> uh, here we go. Yeah, how good does that look? So, there's a recipe, pretty easy. Um, I'm probably going to be doing more of these in the uh, coming, I don't know, weeks, I guess. Uh, we got a, I got a lot of stuff planned um, for posting, so <clears throat> well, I'll obviously keep you guys updated, but we're probably going to be doing a few more of these here in the future. Um, but yeah, pretty simple recipe for you guys. Very tasty as well. You should guys, <clears throat> you guys should, uh, Christ, if I could talk here. You guys could definitely, should definitely give it a try. Uh, it's very good. Um, so yeah, that's going to be uh, it for this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe <clears throat> for more content. And especially leave a comment if you'd like to see more of these videos. Um, with that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one.